And then uh, this now is 12. We don't want to eyeball this because it's too much. So what we do, <coughs> we find the midpoint of the thoracic, right? Eyeball it first, see if that is a midpoint. Kind of sort of here, right? That's the midpoint. And then I'm going to divide this again in half, right? In half. Now I have four equal segments, right? I divide each segment in uh, three smaller segments, eyeballing them, and I have 12, four times three, 12, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, right? Like that. Now I have uh, the vertebrae. I will not need all of them, but I would need, I will need some, right? So let's see the one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six, right? That's the middle, right? One of the scapula, again, remember, this is the level of the seven or eight. I aim for the center of the head of the humerus. Here, like this, right? And then this, along, see, the scapula is going to be positioned, right, here, at the margin between uh, this portion of the, rib, the, the rib cage where the ribs turn forward or where they stem from the spine, like this. So that, that creates a ridge, right? This creates a ridge, so this is depression, that's the erector spine is gonna go inside. Now, uh, I can also round the bottom of the scapula, the scapula are not pointy at the end, right? They're rounded like this. Then, um, now this is the vertebra, so this is the lateral margin of the scapula, right? This is the vertebral margin of the scapula because it's on the side of, this, of the spine, the vertebrae. When I reach, um, with the vertebral margin of the scapula, I reach at the level of the uh, center of the head of the humerus, right here, like this, right? I go up diagonally from that corner there toward the top of the head of the humerus. And that is going to give me two things. Here is the spinal scapula. As I get above, the part, uh, the part that is above the head of the humerus is the acromion. The acromion connects with the scapula here, right, this, right, and moves forward like that. So that's the acromion, sorry, spinal scapula, acromion, uh, and then the clavicle scapula. We add also here, this here, like this, and like a little triangle, right, little triangle, and now we have we have the full scapula. We need a little triangle because rhomboideus and elevato scapula will start originate from here, so we need them. Um, so now, here we have, I'm gonna block in the outline of this muscle like this, right? So now, what we can do, we're gonna block in the deltoid, right? Um, because the back is almost done. Now we've done the deep muscle, this is almost done, right? So now, we block in the deltoid. The deltoid start from the um, corner of the scapula here, the spine of the scapula here, it, con it goes in uh, and uh, uh, originates from all here along the lower margin of the spinal scapula, then the acromion then goes to the front also, right? It goes to the front because we're going to have the deltoid, posterior, lateral, and anterior part of the deltoid, right? So we have the, see the muscle of the forearm, right? And fingers. So now here we have 27, well not 12, right? We have 12 is the gluteus medius and 27 is the gluteus maximus. And then we have here, um, this is called iliotibial band or tract, band or tract, right? And that would be 28, right? Then we have here, 29. 29 is the bicep femoris. And then here we have a 30. 30 is, um, so superficially, we, we have the semi-tendinosus. Remember semi-T, semi-tendinosus. 
and then below I'm going to in parentheses is going to be the semimembranosus. Right. So now uh, here we have. So this would be thirty one. Right. I'm going to put this here. Thirty one. This muscle here is the sartorius. From here, what we would do, then we would block in light mesh and shadow mesh, see that? So this is now the gluteus. This is the, the, the vasto lateralis, etc. This is going to be now the core shadow. Core shadow, right? shadow here right and then we we now now we can spend time doing a uh, our tonal rendering of the figure because we know that is going to be um, structurally sound right 